Hi guys and welcome back to another Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020 tutorial on the channel. Today we are going to be taking a look at how to get a flight plan running for your simulator and for you to fly. So without further ado, let's get into the video. Right guys, so uh, as you can see we're going to be flying with the uh, Airbus A320neo from Air France. And for example, you would like to fly from Amsterdam Schiphol to Paris Airport. What you want to do then is go to Amsterdam Schiphol, select this, and set as departure. What you want to do then is you want to go to Paris Airport. You're going to click that and you're going to set as arrival. You will see a uh, line appear from Paris to Amsterdam. Uh, that's your route it gives you from default and what you can now do is adjust the sits and stars which are your uh, departure and your arrival route and the way to do it is you're going to first select um, where you want to go so for example we want to go start at Schiphol and we want to start at uh, uh, Delta 22 for example uh, or Delta 16 it's fine we're going to select Delta 16 as departure there you go and we are going to take runway 24 as departure and for the runway 24 we are going to take a sit or star and i'm going to explain later on how to get these sits and stars as accurate and efficient as possible by using the simbri flight planner okay so what you want to do now is you want to make sure that you select the right way the right uh, format for your flight plan uh, which is going to be for this route can be or low altitude airways or high altitude airways I would say it's a high uh, altitude airway because you can go pretty high on this one the FU-20 climbs pretty fast so you're going to easily make a high altitude airway here so we're going to select that and now we have a high altitude airway flight plan selected so let's now hop onto Simbri flight planner and I will do some explaining about that real quick all right guys so here we are at simbrief uh, to get to the website you just have to type in simbrief.com i will uh, put a link to that in the description for you guys um what you want to do first is you want to type in your departure and arrival icao codes uh, so for us that's going to be amsterdam which is eham and our arrival airport is lfpg which is uh, paris of course these icao codes can also be found in your simulator when you select the uh, departure and arrival airport so now we're going to select our aircraft type which is going to be the a320 neo for us today um we're just going to select the uh, a320 200 which is as close as it can get and then we're going to select our departure and arrival runways which is going to be 24 at amsterdam make sure you do uh, hit the yes button when they ask you for do you wish you automatically select new sits and stars for these runways because then it will adjust the sits and stars to your runways you have selected so make sure you click yes on this there we go uh, arrival uh, runway is going to be for example uh, let's take uh, zero nine or left there we go Okay, so guys, so that's basically it. Uh, it will now generate a route. And as you can see, this is going to be your SID, your departure. Uh, we have the CUDA 1 share of departure out of Roma 24. And we have the STAR, the Mati 8 Echo arrival. Um, that's going to be your STAR. Um, so what we're going to do now is you're going to hit this generate OFP button. If you hit this, it's going to just load some things in. It's going to give you some fuel stuff and weights. Uh, so we're going to do that. I just have to wait for this for a bit. There we go. Alright, so as you can see, it just uh, calculated some stuff for you. Your uh, alternate airport, your cruising altitude of 250 is going to be uh, flight level 250. Um, airtime is going to be 48 minutes and block fuel is uh, approximately five and a half thousand uh, kilos uh, you can also see your routing over here this is gonna this is what we're gonna need for our simulator in a minute here 
Um, you can also go down here uh, to your OFP, your paperwork. And you can see your cost index over here, which you can fill in in the uh, Airbus FMC, of course. And you can find your weights and fuel over here, weights and balance. Your passengers on board, which are the packs, this is your passengers. Cargo can be found, payload, uh, zero fuel, way fuel, too much to, uh, to know. There's all of it is over here, found over here. Overall, a very, very useful tool for fly simming. So, with all these information we have now, let's get back to the simulator and fill it in. Alright, so we are back now in the simulator. And we're going to fill in the uh, information we just got from SimBrief. So, uh, we know that our um, uh, departure SID is going to be the uh, Kuda 1 share of departure out of runway 24 at Amsterdam. So, what we're going to do now is we're going to go to departures, as you can see here, departures. And we're going to click the... Kuda 1 Shara Departure. Kuda 1 Shara Departure, Roman 24. So we're going to uh, be selecting this one. As you can see, the flight plan now changed a bit. Uh, the yellow line is your SID, is your uh, departure, the way you're going to depart. Um, these SIDs and stars are obviously um, uh, given to you to make sure that you're following a. Um, particular departure which is handy for um, air traffic control to keep track and make sure you don't crash into each other so we have our sit selected now and we are now going to select our arrival into 09 or left um, the arrival is going to be the um, let's see where is it the Mati 8 Ho echo arrival uh, 09 or left you're going to click on that as you can see, the arrival has changed. The um, yellow line again is your um, arrival. And what you want to do then is want to select the way you want to arrive. So a uh, lock arrival, RNF arrival, or ILS arrival. Um, for this purpose, I'm going to just uh, uh, go with the ILS arrival, which is the most regular one. So we're going to click the ILS arrival like that. So the ILS arrival is now selected and this is basically your flight plan guys. Uh, one good thing to know as well is that you can, that you can go to uh, navlog over here and you can set your uh, cruising altitude. So uh, for example, we uh, Simbrief gave us 25,000 feet. So we're gonna select that. And as you can see, it now um, gives you 25,000 feet as your cruising altitude. So it's gonna like adjust the altitudes per waypoint um, to your cruising altitude you selected. So guys, that's basically it for flight planning. If you just load into the aircraft now, it's uh, automatically loaded into your aircraft. You have nothing else to do in your FMC other than filling in some weights and your cost index, etc. All right, so that's basically it, guys. Uh, I hope you guys found this tutorial useful. If you did, make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel. And Put on those post notifications for future content and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.